Hello everyone, I'm Rafael Lavrez and this is Alvarez Metalworks. So today what we got in front of us is a bead roller built by JD Squared. Okay, you can find them at www.jdsquaredjd2.com. That's what the squared is, like a math, like whatever, a number, math problem. <laughs> um, this is the Bead Roller 23, something that is a very new product for them. Um, I'm one of the, I would say I'm probably one of the, the first people that, have, that purchased one of these. Um, a bead roller is something that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. And when I saw that they came out with them, I saw the price point. I asked my wife if she could get it for me for my birthday slash Christmas present last year, and she did. Yes, she's awesome, and no, you can't have her. <laughs> um, so basically, let me give you... Let me give you my initial thought and my initial review on this right out the gate. Okay, Let, let's save all the back and forth for those of you that don't want to sit here and spend whatever odd minutes to watch this entire video. Would I recommend this? Yes. Um, with an asterisk. Would I buy it again? If I had to do it all over again, would I buy this particular bead roller for myself? No. Okay, that's what the asterisk is. And... We're going to talk about some of those reasons and, and why that is here in, in just a minute. Um, but basically, let me, let me talk about build quality and, and why, I, why this caught my attention right away. Um, there's companies like Harbor Freight and Eastwood and a few others that are selling a Chinese-made bead roller that comes with dies. They're very crappy, very terrible build quality, but they do bend. They do... They do what they need to do, okay? They, they bend the metal. Um, a lot of people have taken those bead rollers and they've modified them and turned them into what they want them to be and, and they've made them work for, for what it is that they need in their shop. And that's great. You know, if you're the person that wants to do that, have at it. You know, I encourage creativity and, and being able to build your own tools, you know, I know what that's like, and, and, and I got no problem with somebody modifying a piece of junk or something that is a little slightly inferior to make it substantially better. Um, with that being said, when I saw that JD Squared came out with this bead roller, I immediately was, was like, oh, I'm interested. De uh, no sales pitch, nothing. I was interested immediately. Reason being is I have a, a tubing bender made by JD Squared, their Model 32 tubing bender. Um, those of you that have been following my channel have seen that in my roof rack build, um, both of my roof rack builds, and you've seen the air over hydraulic conversion that I built for it. Um, extremely well built piece of machinery. It's made here in the USA, 100% made here in the USA. They manufacture every single little part of all of their machines here in this country. If you're going to talk about countries that are truly, truly building USA, built products, engineered, designed, the whole works, this is one of them. As of right now, this is one of them. So I believe it's a mom and pop's joint. Um, they really put a lot of attention to detail to trying to build, build these tools, okay? And they try to build the best and strongest thing that they can, something that's going to last. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm interested. Let me hear what you guys got. Um, I had some concerns. My concern is, is that one, the reason why I want a bead roller is because I see these guys like Lazy Metalworks, Ron Covell, all these sheet metal guys that, that are doing phenomenal things with sheet metal. They're building entire bodies. They're building fuel tanks or building fenders or building dashboards and whatever it is whatever the hell they want to build they're building it you know taking a flat piece of metal and they're banging it into shape and and turning it into something that is that is flawless where you don't even need body filler the the, the workmanship is that good and, and i admire that it inspires me and that's a skill set that i absolutely want to have okay so a bead roller was on my list of many tools that I wanted, but I also watched Lazy Metal Works and these guys on YouTube, and 
The fact of the matter is that they have some features on their bead rollers that I find very, very useful and very interesting that this doesn't have. Namely, is this top roller you can't adjust in and out, okay? Um, that's an issue. If you're trying to just do basic bead work, where you got a round bead, square bead, a stepped bead, you know, um, or a, a tank roll, this is fine, okay? But if you're trying to do some of these other things where you're experimenting and using these die sets in ways that they weren't designed so that you can get really neat, cool custom effects, this bead roller really restricts you from doing that, where those higher end bead rollers allow you to do that. Um, but the build quality of this thing is, is second to none in my opinion. It is extremely heavy duty. It, it is right on par with the Model 32 tubing bender as far as build quality is concerned. Really impressed with it um, in, in that regard. So there's only one complaint that I do have about the entire thing um, as far as build quality, and it's over here. It's this handle, the crank handle. If you decide that you want a mechanical one, we'll talk about why I don't think that's a good idea in a second. But this handle right here doesn't rotate on its on its bolt. It's just bolted in and it's something you gotta kind of slide your hand around, which is something that you could deal with. You know, it's not a textured handle, so your hand slides around it decently. But you know, normally when you grab something like this, you expect the handle to rotate inside its pivot point, where this doesn't. Um, again, it's made in this country <laughs> and it's 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 built by a company that is experimenting with new tools and building things and it's a it's a grassroots level company that I really truly support as far as the products that they're putting out because I I like them. I like what they're doing. I think it's good for the industry and it helps people like me because they're trying to bring these quality built tools at a price point that people like me can afford. Um, so um, let's speed this up a little bit. The reason why I don't like this mechanical handle is simple. Okay, let me get a, a piece of metal in here. I've already bent this up a little bit because I reshot this video. You basically unscrew this, set it in here, and I'm going to go ahead and crank it all the way down so I can get full depth on here. Okay, that's it. It's cranked all the way down. So. When you're doing long bead rolls, it's very important to make sure that the line is straight or you're going to have a mess, okay? When I'm over here cranking this, I can't stand over here and watch what I'm doing. That's the big problem with these. It's not that I can't do it, it's that I can't watch what's going on. So, I got it in here, I'm going to reverse it just to make sure that I go off the edge here. Now I'm going to try to show you guys this. I got two two beads here. This is the one that I just did. This is the one I did in the previous video that I threw out. So it gives a good bead, you know, good profile, looks good, does the job. It just doesn't have a lot of the flexibilities that higher end bead rollers have. Now this comes at an, a very, very low price point compared to those. Um, and the reason why I said I would recommend it with an asterisk, but I wouldn't buy it if I had to do it again, is simple. I want a tool that can do everything that the top level B rollers are doing. Um, I want the adjustability. I want the, the extremely broad spectrum of, of die sets, the skateboard tires, all of the all the different profiles. I want I want to be able to have that availability to me. Where because this is a new product, JD Square isn't a bead roller company. This is a new product for them. The die sets that they have are limited, and you cannot buy die sets from another company and have them work for this. It's a proprietary size. So your best bet, if JD Square doesn't have the die set, 
or they won't make it for you, you would essentially have to send out these dies to a machinist and have them machine you new dies for this, for whatever profile you're looking for, which I'm sure is not exactly cheap, okay? So that's a, that's a concern. Um, and that's why I say that I probably wouldn't do this again if it was me. Am I displeased with the product? Absolutely not. I think it's extremely well built. I think it's a very good piece of, of equipment. And I would highly recommend it to somebody who's just looking to put a round bead, square bead, or step bead, or tank rolled bead, because those are the ones that they offer. If you're just looking to do the basics, this is a good machine. But do not rely on the mechanical crank unless you always have somebody in your shop that, that you can have crank on this thing while you're standing and making sure that your, your lines are straight. Um, one thing I want to, to say to you guys that say, well, I got other people to help me is, is simple. If those people are being paid by you hourly, get the mechanical, get the, the you know, get the electric motor for it. The reason why I say that is, is it will pay for itself. I don't know how much you can pay, pay your employees, but even if you're paying a minimum wage, if you use this all the time, it will pay for itself. And it gives you full control over the machine. You don't have to yell at somebody because they're not paying attention or listening to you properly. <laughs> you know, so I would highly recommend that you get the bead roller with the, the motor. Um, it's something that you can add on later if you don't believe me. Um, I plan on getting the motor myself. I'm not going to get rid of this bead roller. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get the motor for it. Eventually, it will get set aside in my shop and just be used as a bare basics, bare bone bead roller. And I will get a higher end bead roller at some point. When that is, I don't know. But that is definitely the plan. Um, with that being said, um, there's not a lot more to say about this. Let me show you the backside. So I can show you the, the adjustable fence. Sorry about banging the camera around. I'm kind of tight quarters here. So here's the, the fence, it's underneath here. Take these two bolts off, there's nuts on the bottom. You see how you got the slots in here? It's not something you just loosen and can slide all the way down. You have to pick it up and move it and put it in the section that you'll need the fence and then you have your adjustability within that range. Um, that kind of sucks a little bit, but it's, it's built, it's built well. Okay. So I'm not going to complain too much about it because it could be built really crappy. That's, it's, it's very well, very well built. Um, let me show you here from the front side. The camera can't really get too low, but you see the depth here, basically from the, this face of the roller to all the way contacting the vertical support over there is 23 and a half inches. So usable workspace, that's what the 23 on the bead roller stands for. You've got 23 inches of throat depth to work with. Okay. So it's, it's, you know, it's definitely worth its weight in gold. But I'm cheap and I want what I want. <laughs> and I will do a, a ton of sacrificing to make sure that I get the tool that I need. And in this particular case, you know, I got something that's gonna definitely allow me to do some pretty cool things in my shop, but it is not the tool that I absolutely want. So, you know, just keep that in mind if you guys choose to, to purchase this. Um, that's it for now, thank you guys for watching. Like always, subscribe, comment, like. Um, if you have any questions about it, you know, hit me up in the comments. Um, thanks for all the support. Make sure you check out RoarcSupply.com. Use coupon code METAL um, to get 10% off your entire order at any point in time for whatever it is that you order, regardless of, of what it is or how much. Um, that's their thank you to you and my thank you to you for, for the support. So talk to you guys later.